Hey everybody, uh, it's Harvey here. Uh, just dropping in to say hi. I'm still, um, just, well, I just wanted to say welcome to my channel. Uh, this channel is going to be a little different than the ones I've had before. Uh, it is going to be, um, sort of documenting my, my, my stages through pursuing becoming uh, <laughs> a male. Um, and sort of a video diary, but it's also gonna, um, I I'm gonna use it to record songs that I write, and maybe interview some people, and, uh, um, showcase my awesome friends, some of which are animals, like Pippin, the golden retriever right here, who's my bestest friend. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd check in and say I'm doing really great. Um, married life is amazing. I can't recommend it enough. Jeff is my world. Uh, we're doing, uh, the play, uh, A Christmas Carol, the radio show with our local community theater, and it's been kind of a little weird, <laughs> just because I've been cast in female roles, because, uh, while the director and fellow cast are all good friends of mine who are aware of my situation, they didn't really know how to approach it, and I realized sort of the only hang-up was really me. I can play girls. <laughs> I just, um, it's just weird, you know, because I'm at that weird place where I'm like, I don't know where I'm at yet. Like. I haven't started testosterone, I, I'm just kind of just cross-dressing at this point, um, so far, and so things are awkward, but they're, they are way worse for other people, at least I'm married to someone who loves me, at least I'm not in a bad family situation, as I have been in the past, at least I'm not, um, you know, going through what a lot of other people are going through. There's a lot of hate in my country right now um, towards homosexuals, and um, I see a lot of it at school, um, just in the attitudes of people. You know, a lot of them don't really come out and say it, but like, there's a lot of rude sort of passive aggression going on that is disheartening. But I refuse to to lose hope that in a, a better, nicer world. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so lots going on, um, the semester's almost over, uh, Jeff and I are in that play, like I said, the holidays are coming, and I'm actually really excited because this year I am going to my in-laws, well, Jeff's folks have passed away, but I guess my aunts and uncles through Jeff, uh, I'm going as Harvey to all the family stuff this year. We'll see how that goes. They're really wonderful people, so I don't think they're going to have a problem with it. Um, and if they do, that's their problem, not mine. Um, but, yeah, it's it's still awkward and weird. But I guess it's only as awkward as I make it. <laughs> so if I choose not to make it awkward and just keep being me, I think everything will be okay. I wanted to talk a little bit today about... Uh, different versions of ourselves. Um, I am active in my school's GSA, uh, the college I go to, which will remain anonymous, but um, I've been active in the GSA and we had some really awesome workshops um, throughout October for coming out month. And uh, another trans man in the GSA, I, I was amazed by his story because it correlated so well with my own. Um, if you ever find that you're, like, it, it's hard for people to accept your new identity um, because they've known you as your female self for so long, um, it's really not all it is. I'm sort of figuring out that a lot of the friends I lost, I lost because I caused a lot of drama to distract from the real problem, which was that I wasn't feeling comfortable being myself. 
um, and accepting myself. I was staying in the closet and it was causing me to create a lot of problems where there were none. Uh, I guess just to distract um, subconsciously from the main problem um, that has been there since, you know, as long as I can remember. And it was amazing because he told a very, very similar story. Um, I've lost some really good friends and I didn't understand why um, people were disappearing from my life, but I was a very chaotic person and I don't know, I didn't know why I was causing all that chaos. I couldn't really understand it. Um, and then once I kind of accepted who I am, people got really mad because they said, oh, it's just you going through another thing. You're just changing again. You know, you're just trying to start drama and it's like, no, <laughs> this is the real deal. This is this is why the drama was happening in the first place. And I've been really drama free ever since I came out. Um, and my marriage is going great. And um, uh, everything is pretty awesome actually. So, and it's weird because, like all the people I was friends with for so many years who couldn't handle my drama anymore and didn't believe me. I'm actually really a lot happier without them in my lives now, which is... I never thought I would feel that way. I've always been very reliant on, you know, what people thought of me. And now that I just don't give a fuck anymore, <laughs> um, life's gotten a lot easier. So, I just want to let people know, like, you're not alone. If you've caused a lot of drama to distract from the pain and distract yourself from coming out, it's totally okay. Um, it's going to be alright. And if some people can't forgive you or can't get over it, then that, you know, that's okay. Keep living well. Take good care of your body. Um, I managed to not smoke as much anymore. Oh, there's my phone. So I gotta go. But, uh, <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.